Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Tech Talk. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your startup programs on Mac High Sierra. If you have a different Mac system, make sure that you have downloaded Mac High Sierra as some of these settings do change based on different Mac operating systems. So today I'm going to be showing you how when you start your computer, how you can have a couple different programs start at the same time. This might also help you if you have a lot of programs starting that you would like not to start. I'll show you how to take those programs off. So the first step that we're going to have is we're going to come to our system preferences. So for me that's down here. We're going to go into system preferences. Now a lot of people might want to go into startup disk, but that's actually just showing you which hard drive you're starting up your computer. So we actually have to come down to users and groups. So we'll click on that. Now you'll see I only have one user on this account, but what you can do if you have multiple different users or maybe different things that you like to do on different users, you can actually have different login items for each different account. So it doesn't have to be universal to one login. You can actually log into different accounts and have different items coming up for each one. So you'll see right here we have our info right here. What we're actually going to come over to is login items. Now you'll see right now I have nothing. I personally like nothing to be logged in. That way I can have a faster startup and then I'll just manually start whatever I'm planning on doing. But if you would like to have different things pop up, this is your first option. So you're going to come down to the plus sign right here and it's going to say add an item to the login items list. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit that and you're going to go into applications or whatever you'd like to open up and you see we have all of our applications right here. So say we want Spotify to open. This is a pretty common one that you might want for your very first time. When you log in that Spotify opens automatically. We're going to select Spotify and we're going to come down and hit add. You'll see this is on the list right here. So what that means is every time I log into my Andrew account right here, it's going to pull up Spotify automatically, that that will automatically pull up. Now let's add a few more. And I'm just going to add these randomly. So we'll add chess. We'll add our calendar. So all these things are going to open at the same time. Now you can imagine what this might do. This might take a little bit longer then because you're opening now, right now I have four different applications opening every time I log in. Now say that you have things on this list and you go, you know, I really don't like things automatically opening, maybe it takes too long, maybe you're like me and you like to just get to your home profile a little bit faster. Here is how you remove things. It is very simple. You're going to select whichever one you would like to delete. Let's delete chess. Then we're going to come down here, we're going to hit the minus button. The minus button removes the selected items from the list. You hit that, now we only have three items that pop up when we log in. We can do this to our desired effect, and again, because I like to have nothing, I'm just going to hit all of these and hit remove for all of them again. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. You can also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our other videos on Tech Talk. Thanks and have a great day.